Raising Champions, Parenting Strategies for Success, written and produced by Better Life Library. Prelude. Parenting is one of the most challenging yet rewarding journeys one can embark upon. Each day brings new experiences, joys, and trials, all of which contribute to the remarkable journey of raising children. In Raising Champions, our aim is to equip you with the tools, strategies, and insights necessary to guide your children toward a successful and fulfilling life. This book is crafted with a blend of research-based techniques, practical advice, and personal anecdotes. We understand that every family is unique, and what works for one may not work for another. Therefore, the strategies presented are adaptable, allowing you to tailor them to fit your specific family dynamics. From the first steps to the final steps out the door, the foundational years of a child's life are critical. The environment you create, the values you instill, and the guidance you provide will shape their future. This book covers a range of topics, from setting a solid foundation and fostering emotional intelligence to promoting resilience and balancing academic and personal growth. Whether you're a new parent or have years of experience, this book will inspire and empower you. The journey of parenting doesn't come with a manual, but it does come with the opportunity to learn and grow alongside your children. Through the chapters ahead, we hope to provide you with the confidence and knowledge to raise confident, resilient, and successful champions. In the end, parenting is not just about raising children, but also about developing ourselves as guides and mentors. As you read through these pages, remember that every step you take towards understanding and supporting your child is a step towards raising a champion. Let this book be your companion on this rewarding journey, offering insights and encouragement along the way. Chapter 1. Setting the Foundation for Success The early years of a child's life are crucial in shaping their future. Just as a sturdy building requires a strong foundation, a child's future success relies on the stability and support they receive in their formative years. Parents play a pivotal role in creating an environment that fosters growth, security, and love. A solid foundation is built on the principles of consistency, emotional stability, and routine. These elements help children feel safe and supported, giving them the confidence to explore the world around them. When children know what to expect and feel secure in their surroundings, they are more likely to develop the resilience and strength needed to face life's challenges. Providing a secure and loving home is one of the most impactful contributions parents can make. It is within this nurturing environment that children learn about trust, empathy, and emotional regulation. The bonds formed in these early years lay the groundwork for healthy relationships and a positive sense of self. In this chapter, we will explore the key components of creating a stable home environment and discuss the importance of fostering emotional security. By understanding and implementing these foundational principles, you can set your child on a path toward a successful and fulfilling life. Creating a stable home environment, building a safe and supportive space. A stable home environment is the bedrock of successful parenting. It provides children with a sense of security, predictability, and emotional support. Let's explore the essential elements that contribute to creating such an environment, focusing on emotional stability, consistency, and routine. Emotional stability. Emotional stability within the home ensures that children feel safe and understood. This stability is achieved through open communication, Encourage your children to express their feelings and listen actively to their concerns. This helps them feel valued and understood. Positive reinforcement. Acknowledge and praise positive behaviors, reinforcing a sense of accomplishment and boosting self-esteem. Emotional availability. Be present and responsive to your child's emotional needs. This creates a safe space for them to share their feelings without fear of judgment. Consistency. Consistency in parenting provides children with a predictable environment where they understand the expectations and boundaries. Key aspects of consistency include 
clear expectations, set and communicate clear rules and guidelines. Children thrive when they know what is expected of them. Regular routines, establish daily routines for activities such as meals, homework, and bedtime. Routines provide a sense of order and reliability. Consistent discipline, apply rules and consequences consistently. This helps children understand the relationship between their actions and outcomes. Routine. Routine plays a crucial role in providing structure and predictability in a child's life. Effective routines include daily schedules. Create a daily schedule that includes time for school, play, chores, and family activities. Consistent schedules help children feel secure and organized. Bedtime rituals. Establish calming bedtime routines to promote restful sleep. This can include activities such as reading a book or discussing the day's events. Family time. Dedicate regular time for family activities, strengthening family bonds, and creating cherished memories. By focusing on emotional stability, consistency, and routine, you create a supportive and nurturing home environment that lays the foundation for your child's future success. Fostering emotional security. Nurturing love and understanding. Emotional security is a cornerstone of a child's well-being and development. When children feel loved, valued, and understood, they are more likely to develop confidence, resilience, and healthy relationships. Here are key strategies for fostering emotional security in your children. Unconditional love. Children need to feel that they are loved unconditionally, regardless of their behavior or achievements. Show your love consistently through affection. Regularly express love through hugs, kisses, and kind words. Physical and verbal affection reinforces your child's sense of being cherished. Positive affirmations. Use positive affirmations to boost your child's self-esteem. Simple statements like, I love you, and I'm proud of you, can have a profound impact. Quality time. Spend quality time with your children, engaging in activities they enjoy. This demonstrates that you value their company and interests. Active listening. Listening actively to your children helps them feel valued and understood. Practice active listening by giving full attention. When your child speaks, give them your undivided attention. Put away distractions and focus on what they are saying. Reflecting feelings. Reflect back what you hear to show that you understand their emotions. Phrases like, it sounds like you're feeling, can be very effective. Empathy. Show empathy by acknowledging their feelings and experiences. Let them know that it's okay to feel what they're feeling. Consistent support. Providing consistent emotional support helps children feel secure and builds trust. Offer support by being available. Be there for your children, especially during times of distress. Your presence and reassurance can help them navigate their emotions. Encouragement. Encourage your children to express their feelings and talk about their experiences. This openness fosters a sense of security and trust. Problem solving. Help your children develop problem-solving skills by working through challenges together. This teaches them that they can rely on you for guidance and support. Setting boundaries. Clear and consistent boundaries contribute to emotional security by providing structure and predictability. Set boundaries by establishing rules. Clearly communicate family rules and expectations. Consistency in enforcing these rules helps children feel safe and secure. Fair consequences. Apply fair and predictable consequences for breaking rules. This teaches children accountability while maintaining a secure environment. Open communication. Encourage open communication about boundaries and rules. Listen to your children's perspectives and explain the reasons behind the boundaries. By fostering emotional security through unconditional love, active listening, consistent support, and clear boundaries, you create a nurturing environment where your children feel loved, valued, and understood. This foundation of emotional security is crucial for their overall development and future success. Conclusion In this chapter, 
We have explored the fundamental elements that contribute to a child's successful development. Creating a stable home environment and fostering emotional security are critical building blocks in laying a solid foundation for your child's future. By focusing on emotional stability, consistency, and routine, you can provide a safe and supportive space for your children. These elements help them feel secure and confident as they navigate the world around them. Additionally, ensuring that your children feel loved, valued, and understood through active listening, unconditional love, and consistent support is vital in nurturing their emotional well-being. As you continue your parenting journey, remember that the foundation you set today will have a lasting impact on your child's growth and success. Effective communication is the next crucial step in building strong parent-child relationships. In the following chapter, we will discuss how to enhance your communication skills to foster mutual respect and understanding with your children. Chapter 2. Effective Communication Communication is at the heart of any strong parent-child relationship. It significantly impacts a child's development, shaping their ability to express themselves, understand others, and build meaningful connections. Effective communication goes beyond words. It includes nonverbal cues such as facial expressions, body language, and tone of voice, all of which play a crucial role in conveying messages. From the earliest stages of life, children learn to communicate by observing and interacting with their parents. The way you communicate with your child sets the foundation for their social and emotional development. When children feel heard and understood, they are more likely to develop confidence, self-esteem, and trust. This chapter focuses on enhancing your communication skills to foster mutual respect and understanding with your child. We will explore the importance of active listening, a vital component in understanding your child's needs and feelings. Additionally, we will discuss the role of positive reinforcement in encouraging desired behaviors and building your child's self-esteem. By mastering these communication techniques, you can create an environment where your child feels valued and respected, ultimately strengthening your parent-child bond. Active listening, tuning in to your child's world. Active listening is a powerful communication tool that helps you truly understand your child's needs, feelings, and concerns. By practicing active listening, you can create a supportive environment where your child feels heard and valued. Here are some key strategies for effective active listening. Give full attention. When your child speaks, give them your undivided attention. This means setting aside distractions such as phones, televisions, and other interruptions. Maintain eye contact, nod, and use other nonverbal cues to show that you are fully engaged in the conversation. Reflect and paraphrase. To show that you are listening and to ensure you understand your child correctly, reflect back what they have said. Use phrases like, so what you're saying is, or it sounds like you feel. This not only confirms your understanding, but also helps your child feel validated and understood. Ask open-ended questions. Encourage your child to express themselves more fully by asking open-ended questions. Instead of questions that can be answered with a simple yes or no, ask questions that require more thought and elaboration. For example, how did that make you feel? Or what do you think about that? Show empathy. Empathy is about understanding and sharing the feelings of another person. When your child expresses their emotions, acknowledge and validate their feelings. You might say, I can see that you're really upset about this, or it sounds like you're feeling frustrated. This helps your child feel supported and understood. Avoid interruptions. Resist the urge to interrupt or finish your child's sentences. Allow them to express their thoughts fully before you respond. This shows respect for their perspective and encourages them to share more openly. Provide encouragement. Encourage your child to keep talking by using positive reinforcement. Simple phrases like, I see, go on, and tell me more about that can make a big difference in keeping the conversation flowing and showing your child that you are interested in what they have to say. 
By incorporating these active listening techniques into your daily interactions, you can build a stronger, more empathetic relationship with your child. Active listening fosters mutual respect and understanding, laying the groundwork for a lifetime of effective communication. Positive reinforcement, encouraging success and building self-esteem. Positive reinforcement is a powerful tool for shaping your child's behavior and boosting their self-esteem. By acknowledging and rewarding positive behaviors, you can encourage your child to repeat those behaviors and develop a healthy sense of self-worth. Here are some effective strategies for using positive reinforcement. Praise specific behaviors. When you praise your child, be specific about what they did well. Instead of saying, good job, try, I really appreciate how you shared your toys with your sibling. Specific praise helps your child understand exactly what behavior you are encouraging and why it is valued. Use rewards wisely. Rewards can be an effective way to reinforce positive behavior, but they should be used thoughtfully. Choose rewards that are meaningful to your child and appropriate for the behavior. Rewards can be tangible, like a small treat, or intangible, like extra playtime or a special outing. Ensure that rewards are given promptly after the desired behavior to reinforce the connection. Provide positive attention. Sometimes, the best reward is simply your attention. Spending quality time with your child, engaging in activities they enjoy, and showing genuine interest in their accomplishments can be incredibly motivating. Positive attention reinforces that their efforts are noticed and appreciated. Create a positive environment. Foster a positive environment by celebrating successes and maintaining a constructive attitude. Focus on what your child is doing right, rather than only pointing out mistakes. A positive environment encourages your child to take risks and try new things without fear of criticism. Set achievable goals. Help your child set realistic and achievable goals. When they reach these goals, celebrate their achievements together. Setting and accomplishing goals can build your child's confidence and reinforce their ability to succeed. Consistency is key. Consistency is crucial when using positive reinforcement. Be consistent in your praise and rewards to help your child understand what behaviors are expected and appreciated. Inconsistent reinforcement can lead to confusion and reduce the effectiveness of your efforts. Encourage effort, not just results. While it's important to acknowledge accomplishments, it's equally important to recognize effort. Praise your child for their hard work, persistence, and determination, regardless of the outcome. This helps them develop a growth mindset, understanding that effort and learning are valuable, even if they don't always lead to immediate success. By incorporating positive reinforcement into your parenting approach, you can encourage desired behaviors and build your child's self-esteem. Positive reinforcement not only helps shape behavior but also strengthens the parent-child bond, creating a supportive and nurturing environment for your child's growth and development. Conclusion Effective communication is the cornerstone of strong parent-child relationships. By mastering the techniques of active listening and positive reinforcement, you can create an environment of mutual respect and understanding. These skills not only help in addressing your child's immediate needs and concerns, but also play a crucial role in their long-term development and self-esteem. Active listening allows you to truly understand your child's perspective, fostering a sense of validation and empathy. It builds trust and opens the door to honest and meaningful conversations. On the other hand, Positive reinforcement encourages your child to repeat desired behaviors and helps them build confidence and a positive self-image. By integrating these communication strategies into your daily interactions, you can strengthen your bond with your child and create a supportive and nurturing environment. As we move into the next chapter, we will explore the importance of nurturing emotional intelligence an essential component of your child's overall success and well-being. This will further enhance your ability to guide your child towards a fulfilling and successful life. Chapter 3. Nurturing Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence, EQ, 
is a vital aspect of a child's development that often holds more significance than traditional intelligence, IQ. EQ encompasses the ability to understand, manage, and express emotions effectively. It plays a crucial role in building strong relationships, making thoughtful decisions, and navigating the complexities of life. Unlike IQ, which measures cognitive abilities, EQ focuses on emotional awareness and interpersonal skills. Children with high EQ are better equipped to handle social interactions, cope with stress, and empathize with others. These skills contribute to their overall well-being and success, both in their personal lives and future careers. Parents have a unique opportunity to nurture emotional intelligence from an early age. By teaching empathy and providing strategies for managing emotions, parents can help their children develop the emotional skills necessary for a fulfilling and successful life. In this chapter, we will explore practical ways to cultivate empathy and guide children in managing their emotions effectively. By fostering emotional intelligence, you empower your child to understand and navigate their own emotions while relating to the feelings of others. This not only enhances their social interactions, but also builds a strong foundation for lifelong emotional health and resilience. Teaching empathy, building connections and understanding. Empathy is a cornerstone of emotional intelligence, enabling children to understand and relate to the feelings of others. By teaching empathy, you help your child develop compassion, build strong relationships, and navigate social interactions effectively. Here are some practical ways to foster empathy in your children. Model empathy. Children learn by observing the behavior of their parents. Show empathy in your daily interactions, whether it's comforting a friend, helping a neighbor, or listening attentively to your child. Demonstrating empathy in your actions teaches your child how to respond compassionately to others. Encourage perspective taking. Help your child understand different perspectives by encouraging them to put themselves in someone else's shoes. Ask questions like, huh, how do you think they feel? Or what would you do if you were in their situation? This practice helps children develop the ability to see things from others' viewpoints. Discuss emotions openly. Create an environment where emotions are discussed openly and without judgment. Talk about feelings regularly and encourage your child to express their own emotions. When they share their feelings, listen actively and validate their experiences. This helps children become more attuned to their own emotions and those of others. Read stories with emotional themes. Books and stories are excellent tools for teaching empathy. Choose stories that highlight different emotions and experiences. Discuss the character's feelings and actions with your child. Ask questions like, why do you think they acted that way? And how would you feel in that situation? This helps children understand and relate to diverse emotional experiences. Practice kindness and compassion. Encourage acts of kindness and compassion in everyday life. This can be as simple as sharing, helping someone in need, or offering a kind word. Praise your child when they show empathy and kindness, reinforcing these behaviors as valuable and important. Use real-life situations. Take advantage of real-life situations to teach empathy. When your child witnesses someone in distress, discuss how they might feel and what can be done to help. Use these moments as teaching opportunities to build empathy and compassion. Role-playing. Engage in role-playing activities where your child can practice empathy. Create scenarios where they need to respond to someone's emotions, such as comforting a sad friend or helping a frustrated sibling. Role-playing helps children develop empathetic responses in a safe and supportive environment. By teaching empathy, you help your child build strong, compassionate relationships and navigate social interactions with understanding and care. Empathy not only enhances their emotional intelligence, but also contributes to a more compassionate and connected world. Managing emotions, guiding children through ups and downs. Helping children manage their emotions is essential for their emotional well-being and overall development. 
Effective emotional management enables children to cope with stress, navigate challenges, and build resilience. Here are some strategies for guiding your child through various emotions, including anger, frustration, and sadness. Recognize and label emotions. Teach your child to recognize and label their emotions. Use simple terms to help them identify what they are feeling, such as angry, frustrated, or sad. This awareness is the first step in managing emotions effectively. Create a safe space for expression. Encourage your child to express their emotions in a safe and supportive environment. Let them know that it's okay to feel angry, frustrated, or sad, and that their feelings are valid. Provide a space where they can talk about their emotions without fear of judgment. Teach healthy outlets for emotions. Help your child find healthy outlets for their emotions. Activities like drawing, journaling, or physical exercise can be excellent ways to release pent-up feelings. Encourage them to engage in these activities when they feel overwhelmed. Model emotional regulation. Children learn by observing their parents. Model healthy emotional regulation by managing your own emotions effectively. Show them how to take deep breaths, count to 10, or step away from a situation to cool down. Demonstrating these techniques provides them with practical tools to use in their own lives. Use calming techniques. Teach your child calming techniques to help them manage intense emotions. Breathing exercises, mindfulness practices, and progressive muscle relaxation can be effective ways to reduce stress and regain composure. Practice these techniques together to reinforce their use. Problem-solving skills. Guide your child in developing problem-solving skills. When they face a challenge or a conflict, help them brainstorm possible solutions and evaluate the outcomes. This approach empowers them to take control of their emotions and find constructive ways to address issues. Empathize and validate. Empathize with your child's feelings and validate their experiences. Let them know that you understand how they feel and that it's okay to experience those emotions. This validation helps them feel supported and less alone in their struggles. Set clear boundaries. While it's important to validate emotions, it's also essential to set clear boundaries for behavior. Teach your child that while all emotions are acceptable, not all behaviors are. For example, it's okay to feel angry, but not okay to hit someone. Provide appropriate alternatives for expressing their feelings. Encourage positive self-talk. Help your child develop positive self-talk to counter negative emotions. Encourage them to use affirmations like, I can handle this, or it's okay to make mistakes. Positive self-talk can boost their confidence and resilience in the face of emotional challenges. By implementing these strategies, you can help your child manage their emotions effectively, fostering emotional intelligence and resilience. Teaching your child to navigate their feelings not only supports their immediate well-being, but also equips them with essential skills for a lifetime of emotional health. Conclusion Emotional intelligence is a crucial component of a child's development, impacting their ability to build relationships, handle stress, and navigate the complexities of life. By teaching empathy and providing strategies for managing emotions, you equip your child with the tools they need to succeed both personally and socially. Nurturing emotional intelligence from an early age fosters a compassionate and resilient mindset. When children understand and relate to the feelings of others, they are better prepared to form meaningful connections and contribute positively to their communities. Similarly, when they learn to manage their own emotions, they gain the ability to face challenges with confidence and grace. As we move forward, the next chapter will focus on fostering independence. Building on the foundation of emotional intelligence, we will explore how to encourage self-sufficiency and responsibility in your child, preparing them for a successful and fulfilling adulthood. By combining these strategies, you can support your child's growth in all areas of their life, helping them to become well-rounded, capable individuals. Chapter 4 Fostering Independence and Responsibility 
Fostering independence and responsibility in children is essential for their development into capable and confident adults. Striking the right balance between providing support and allowing children to take responsibility for their actions and decisions can be challenging, but it is crucial for their growth. As parents, our instinct is often to protect and guide our children through every step of their journey. However, it is equally important to give them the space and opportunities to learn, make mistakes, and grow from their experiences. Encouraging self-sufficiency and teaching accountability are key components of this process. In this chapter, we will explore various strategies to help your child become more independent and responsible. From basic self-care routines to making independent decisions, and from setting clear expectations to understanding consequences, these approaches will equip your child with the skills they need to navigate the complexities of life. By fostering independence and responsibility, you not only prepare your child for adulthood, but also instill in them a sense of confidence and self-worth. This foundation will enable them to face challenges head-on and make thoughtful, informed decisions throughout their lives. Encouraging self-sufficiency, empowering your child for independence. Teaching children self-sufficiency is a crucial step in their journey toward becoming confident and capable adults. By encouraging self-sufficiency, you help your child develop the skills and mindset needed to navigate life's challenges independently. Here are some effective strategies to foster self-sufficiency from basic self-care to making independent decisions. Basic self-care. Start with the basics by teaching your child essential self-care skills. These include personal hygiene, encourage routines for brushing teeth, bathing, and grooming. Make these activities a regular part of their daily schedule. Dressing themselves, allow children to choose their own clothes and dress themselves from a young age. This promotes decision-making and independence. Healthy eating, involve your child in meal planning and preparation. Teach them about balanced nutrition and how to make healthy food choices. Household responsibilities. Assign age-appropriate chores and responsibilities around the house. This helps children understand the importance of contributing to the family and builds a sense of responsibility. Chores. Start with simple tasks like making their bed, setting the table, or tidying their room. Gradually introduce more complex chores as they grow older. Problem solving. Encourage children to solve minor household problems independently, such as fixing a loose button or finding a missing item. Decision making. Empower your child to make decisions and understand the consequences of their choices. This can be done through offering choices. Give your child options to choose from, whether it's what to wear, what activity to do, or what to eat for a snack. This fosters decision making skills and confidence. Encouraging independence in learning. Allow children to take charge of their homework and school projects. Offer guidance when needed, but let them experience the process of planning and completing tasks on their own. Time management. Teach your child the importance of managing their time effectively. This includes creating schedules. Help them create a daily or weekly schedule that balances school, chores, hobbies, and relaxation. Setting goals. Encourage your child to set short-term and long-term goals. Celebrate their achievements and discuss any challenges they face along the way. Encouraging exploration. Allow your child to explore their interests and try new activities. This not only builds independence, but also helps them discover their passions and strengths. Hobbies and extracurricular activities. Support your child in pursuing hobbies and joining clubs or teams that interest them. This promotes independence and self-discovery. Outdoor activities. Encourage outdoor play and exploration. Activities like biking, hiking, and camping can boost confidence and self-reliance. By implementing these strategies, you can encourage your child to become more self-sufficient. This foundation of independence will serve them well throughout their lives, enabling them to tackle challenges with confidence and make informed decisions. Teaching accountability, building responsibility and integrity. 
Instilling a sense of accountability in children is crucial for their development into responsible and trustworthy adults. Teaching accountability involves helping children understand the importance of their actions, setting clear expectations, and implementing appropriate consequences. Here are some effective methods for teaching accountability. Set clear expectations. Children need to know what is expected of them in various situations. Establish clear and consistent guidelines to help them understand their responsibilities. Define roles. Clearly outline what tasks and behaviors are expected at home, school, and in social settings. Use simple language and provide examples to ensure they understand. Consistency. Be consistent in your expectations. Inconsistency can confuse children and undermine the importance of accountability. Explain the consequences. Help your child understand that their actions have consequences. Explain both the positive and negative outcomes of their behavior. Natural consequences. Allow children to experience the natural consequences of their actions when appropriate. For example, if they forget their homework, they might face a lower grade. Logical consequences. Implement logical consequences that are directly related to the behavior. For instance, if they make a mess, they should clean it up. Encourage ownership. Encourage your child to take ownership of their actions and decisions. This helps them understand their role in various situations and promotes personal responsibility. Acknowledge mistakes. Teach children to acknowledge their mistakes without fear of harsh punishment. Discuss what went wrong and how they can make better choices in the future. Problem solving. Involve your child in finding solutions to problems they have caused. This empowers them to take responsibility and learn from their experiences. Provide positive reinforcement. Recognize and praise your child when they demonstrate accountability. Positive reinforcement encourages them to continue behaving responsibly. Praise efforts. Acknowledge their efforts to take responsibility, even if the outcome isn't perfect. This reinforces the behavior you want to see. Reward systems. Use reward systems, such as sticker charts or extra privileges, to motivate children to meet their responsibilities. Model accountability. Children learn a great deal by observing their parents. Model accountable behavior in your own actions. Admit mistakes. Show your child that it's okay to make mistakes and that taking responsibility for them is important. Apologize when necessary and demonstrate how to make amends. Follow through. Ensure you follow through on your commitments and responsibilities. Your actions set a powerful example for your child to emulate. Create a supportive environment. Foster a supportive environment where children feel safe to take responsibility for their actions. Open communication. Maintain open lines of communication. Encourage your child to talk about their experiences and feelings and listen without judgment. Support and guidance. Offer support and guidance when your child faces challenges. Help them understand that taking responsibility is a learning process. By teaching accountability, you help your child develop a strong sense of responsibility and integrity. These skills are essential for their personal growth and success in adulthood, preparing them to navigate life with confidence and honesty. Conclusion Fostering independence and responsibility in children is essential for their development into confident, capable adults. By encouraging self-sufficiency and teaching accountability, you provide them with the tools they need to navigate life successfully. Through self-care, decision-making, and managing responsibilities, children learn to rely on themselves and build confidence. Teaching accountability helps them understand the consequences of their actions, promoting a sense of responsibility and integrity. As you implement these strategies, remember that balancing support and independence is key. Allow your children to make mistakes and learn from them while providing guidance and encouragement along the way. In the next chapter, we will focus on promoting resilience. Building on the foundation of independence and responsibility, we will explore how to help your child develop the ability to bounce back from challenges and setbacks, ensuring they are well-equipped for the future. Chapter 5. Building Resilience 
Resilience is the ability to bounce back from challenges, setbacks, and adversity. It is a critical skill for long-term success and well-being, enabling individuals to navigate life's ups and downs with strength and optimism. For children, developing resilience is especially important as it helps them cope with the various challenges they will encounter throughout their lives. Resilient children are better equipped to handle stress, adapt to change, and persevere in the face of difficulties. They learn from their experiences, both positive and negative, and use these lessons to grow and improve. As parents, you play a crucial role in fostering resilience in your children. In this chapter, we will explore practical strategies to help your child develop resilience. From overcoming adversity to cultivating a growth mindset, these approaches will empower your child to face challenges with confidence and emerge stronger from them. By building resilience, you can support your child's journey towards a successful and fulfilling life. Overcoming adversity, navigating life's challenges with confidence. Adversity is an inevitable part of life, and helping children learn to overcome it is crucial for their development. By equipping them with effective strategies, you can help your child face challenges head-on and emerge stronger. Here are some key approaches to support your child in overcoming adversity. Problem-solving skills. Teaching your child problem-solving skills is essential for helping them navigate difficulties. Encourage them to approach challenges with a logical and methodical mindset. Identify the problem. Help your child clearly define the issue they are facing. Encourage them to articulate what the problem is and why it is a challenge. Brainstorm solutions. Work with your child to generate a list of possible solutions. Encourage creative thinking and remind them that there are often multiple ways to address a problem. Evaluate options. Discuss the potential outcomes of each solution. Help your child weigh the pros and cons of each option to make an informed decision. Take action. Support your child in implementing their chosen solution. Encourage them to take small steps and adjust their approach as needed. Maintaining a positive outlook. A positive outlook can significantly impact how a child deals with adversity. Teach your child to focus on the positives and learn from their experiences. Positive self-talk. Encourage your child to use positive self-talk to boost their confidence and morale. Phrases like, I can handle this, and I will learn from this, can be powerful motivators. Focus on strengths. Help your child identify and focus on their strengths. Remind them of past successes and how they have overcome challenges before. Reframe challenges. Teach your child to view challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. Encourage them to ask, what can I learn from this experience? Building a support network. Having a strong support network is crucial for resilience. Encourage your child to build relationships with friends, family, and mentors who can provide guidance and support. Open communication. Foster an environment where your child feels comfortable discussing their problems and seeking advice. Listen actively and offer your support. Role models. Introduce your child to positive role models who have overcome adversity. Their stories can inspire and motivate your child. Peer support. Encourage your child to develop friendships with peers who can provide mutual support. Teach them the value of helping others and receiving help in return. Emotional regulation. Helping your child manage their emotions is key to overcoming adversity. Teach them techniques to stay calm and focused in difficult situations. Mindfulness and relaxation. Introduce mindfulness practices and relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga. These can help your child stay centered and reduce stress. Expressing emotions. Encourage your child to express their emotions in healthy ways. Provide outlets such as talking, writing, or engaging in creative activities to help them process their feelings. Emotional awareness. Teach your child to recognize and understand their emotions. Help them label their feelings and understand how these emotions affect their behavior. By teaching your child problem-solving skills, 
fostering a positive outlook, building a support network, and promoting emotional regulation, you can help them overcome adversity with confidence and resilience. These skills will serve them well throughout their lives, enabling them to face challenges head-on and grow stronger from their experiences. Cultivating a growth mindset, embracing challenges, and learning from mistakes. A growth mindset is the belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. Cultivating a growth mindset in children encourages them to embrace challenges, persist in the face of setbacks, and view effort as a path to mastery. Here are some effective ways to foster a growth mindset in your child. Encourage effort and persistence. Teach your child that effort and persistence are key to overcoming challenges and achieving success. Praise effort, not just results. Focus on praising your child's effort and determination rather than the outcome. For example, say, I'm proud of how hard you worked on that project instead of you're so smart. Celebrate perseverance. Highlight instances where your child persisted despite difficulties. Share stories of famous individuals who succeeded through perseverance. Embrace mistakes as learning opportunities. Help your child understand that mistakes are a natural part of the learning process and opportunities for growth. Normalize mistakes. Teach your child that everyone makes mistakes and that it's okay to fail. Encourage them to see mistakes as valuable learning experiences. Analyze and learn. When your child makes a mistake, guide them through analyzing what went wrong and what they can learn from it. Ask questions like, what can you do differently next time? Promote a love of learning. Instill a love of learning in your child by encouraging curiosity and exploration. Foster curiosity. Encourage your child to ask questions and explore new interests. Provide resources and opportunities for them to learn about topics they are passionate about. Value growth. Emphasize the importance of growth and development over innate ability. Share the message that skills and knowledge can always be improved. Model a growth mindset. Children learn by observing their parents. Model a growth mindset in your own actions and attitudes. Demonstrate resilience. Show your child how you handle challenges and setbacks with a positive attitude. Share your own experiences of learning from mistakes and persisting through difficulties. Use growth-oriented language. Use language that reflects a growth mindset. For example, say, I haven't mastered this yet instead of I'm not good at this. Set realistic goals. Help your child set realistic and achievable goals that encourage continuous growth and improvement. Break down goals. Teach your child to break down larger goals into smaller, manageable steps. Celebrate progress along the way to keep them motivated. Encourage self-reflection. Encourage your child to reflect on their progress and identify areas for improvement. Help them set new goals based on their reflections. Provide constructive feedback. Give feedback that focuses on growth and improvement rather than solely on performance. Specific and actionable. Provide specific feedback that highlights what your child did well and what they can improve. Offer actionable suggestions for how they can enhance their skills. Positive reinforcement. Reinforce the positive aspects of your child's efforts and encourage them to keep trying. Use feedback as a tool for motivation and growth. By cultivating a growth mindset, you can help your child develop a positive attitude towards challenges, a love of learning, and the resilience to overcome obstacles. These qualities will serve them well throughout their lives, enabling them to thrive in both personal and academic pursuits. Conclusion Resilience is a vital trait that helps children navigate life's inevitable challenges and setbacks with strength and optimism. By focusing on strategies to overcome adversity and fostering a growth mindset, you equip your child with the tools they need to thrive. Teaching problem-solving skills and encouraging a positive outlook helps children face difficulties head-on and find effective solutions. Cultivating a growth mindset empowers them to see challenges as opportunities for growth and learning rather than insurmountable obstacles. 
As we move forward to the final chapter, we will explore how to balance academic achievements with personal growth. By integrating resilience with a well-rounded approach to development, you can help your child achieve lasting success and fulfillment in all areas of life. Chapter 6. Balancing Academic and Personal Growth In today's fast-paced and competitive world, the pressure to achieve academic success can be overwhelming for children and parents alike. While academic achievements are important, it's equally crucial to nurture personal growth and life skills. Striking a balance between academics and personal development ensures a well-rounded upbringing, helping children thrive both in and out of the classroom. Academic success often takes center stage, with a focus on grades, test scores, and college admissions. However, this narrow view can overshadow other essential aspects of a child's development, such as social skills, emotional well-being, and creative expression. Personal growth encompasses a wide range of activities and experiences that contribute to a child's overall happiness and fulfillment. In this chapter, we will explore strategies to create a balanced schedule that allocates time for academics, extracurricular activities, and family. We will also discuss the importance of encouraging hobbies and interests outside of academics, which play a significant role in personal development. By fostering a holistic approach to growth, you can help your child develop into a well-rounded individual ready to face the challenges and opportunities of life. Creating a balanced schedule, harmonizing academics and life. A well-balanced schedule is essential for ensuring that children can thrive academically while also developing personally. Striking this balance helps prevent burnout, reduces stress, and allows children to enjoy a well-rounded upbringing. Here are some tips for creating a balanced schedule that includes time for academics, extracurricular activities, and family. Prioritize and plan. Effective time management starts with setting priorities and planning ahead. Identify priorities. Work with your child to identify their priorities, including schoolwork, extracurricular activities, and family time. Understanding what matters most will help in allocating time appropriately. Create a weekly plan. Use a planner or digital calendar to map out the week. Include time for homework, extracurricular activities, chores, and leisure. Having a visual representation of their schedule can help children manage their time more effectively. Set realistic goals. Setting achievable goals can help maintain a balanced schedule. Break tasks into manageable chunks. Help your child break down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. This makes goals seem less overwhelming and more attainable. Balance academic and personal goals. Encourage your child to set goals for both academic and personal growth. This ensures that they focus on all aspects of their development. Allocate time for rest and leisure. Rest and leisure are crucial for maintaining a healthy balance. Schedule breaks. Include short breaks between study sessions to help your child recharge. Encourage activities like stretching, taking a walk, or having a snack. Ensure adequate sleep. Prioritize a regular sleep schedule to ensure your child gets enough rest. Proper sleep is essential for cognitive function, emotional well-being, and overall health. Incorporate downtime. Allocate time for unstructured activities and relaxation. This allows your child to unwind and pursue interests that bring them joy. Encourage extracurricular activities. Extracurricular activities play a vital role in personal growth and development. Choose activities wisely. Help your child choose extracurricular activities that align with their interests and passions. These activities can provide a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. Limit overcommitment. Be mindful of overloading your child's schedule with too many activities. Focus on quality over quantity to ensure they have time to enjoy each activity fully. Foster family time. Family time is essential for building strong relationships and providing emotional support. Schedule regular family activities. Plan regular family activities such as game nights, movie nights, or outdoor adventures. 
These activities create lasting memories and strengthen family bonds. Encourage family meals. Aim to have meals together as a family as often as possible. Family meals provide an opportunity to connect and share experiences. Review and adjust. A balanced schedule requires regular review and adjustment. Check in regularly. Have regular check-ins with your child to assess how the schedule is working. Discuss any challenges they may be facing and make adjustments as needed. Be flexible. Understand that schedules may need to change based on new priorities or unforeseen circumstances. Encourage your child to be adaptable and open to adjusting their plans. By creating a balanced schedule that harmonizes academics, extracurricular activities, and family time, you can help your child develop a well-rounded approach to life. This balance will enable them to achieve academic success while also nurturing their personal growth and overall well-being. Encouraging hobbies and interests. Nurturing passions beyond the classroom. Encouraging children to pursue hobbies and interests outside of academics is crucial for their overall development and well-being. Hobbies provide a much-needed break from the rigors of academic work, foster creativity, and build valuable life skills. Here are some benefits and strategies for nurturing your child's passions beyond the classroom. Benefits of pursuing hobbies and interests. 1. Personal growth and self-discovery. Hobbies allow children to explore different activities and discover what they enjoy and excel at. This self-discovery fosters a sense of identity and confidence. Engaging in varied interests helps children develop a broader perspective and enhances their understanding of the world. 2. Creativity and Problem Solving Creative hobbies like drawing, writing, or playing an instrument stimulate the brain and encourage innovative thinking. Problem-solving skills are honed through activities such as puzzles, building models, or coding, which require critical thinking and perseverance. 3. Stress relief and emotional well-being. Hobbies provide a healthy outlet for stress and anxiety, offering a sense of relaxation and enjoyment. Activities that children are passionate about can improve their mood and overall emotional well-being. 4. Social skills and friendships. Group activities and clubs help children build social skills and make new friends who share similar interests. Participating in team sports or group projects teaches cooperation, communication, and teamwork. Strategies to encourage hobbies and interests. 1. Expose them to a variety of activities. Introduce your child to a wide range of hobbies and interests to see what sparks their enthusiasm. This can include arts and crafts, sports, music, reading, gardening, or volunteering. Encourage them to try new things without pressure to excel immediately. Emphasize the joy of learning and exploring new activities. 2. Support their interests. Show interest in your child's hobbies by asking questions, attending their events, and providing the necessary resources and materials. Create a supportive environment at home where they have the space and time to pursue their interests. 3. Balance is key. Help your child balance their academic responsibilities with their hobbies. Ensure they have enough time for both, without feeling overwhelmed. Encourage them to prioritize their activities based on their passion and commitment level. 4. Encourage long-term commitment. While it's important to explore different interests, also encourage your child to stick with an activity for a while to develop skills and experience growth. Celebrate milestones and achievements in their hobbies, reinforcing their dedication and effort. 5. Model pursuing interests. Be a role model by pursuing your own hobbies and interests. Share your experiences and the joy you find in these activities with your child. Family activities that involve shared interests can strengthen bonds and create lasting memories. By encouraging your child to pursue hobbies and interests, you provide them with opportunities for personal growth, creativity, and emotional well-being. These activities enrich their lives beyond academics, helping them develop into well-rounded individuals with diverse skills and passions. Conclusion 
Balancing academic achievements with personal growth is essential for raising well-rounded and fulfilled individuals. Encouraging a balanced schedule and nurturing hobbies and interests outside of academics help children develop a wide range of skills and a healthy, holistic outlook on life. By supporting your child in managing their time effectively, you enable them to excel academically while also engaging in activities that promote creativity, relaxation, and personal development. Encouraging them to pursue their passions helps build self-confidence, reduces stress, and fosters social connections. As you continue to support your child's journey, remember that the goal is not just academic success, but also the development of a well-rounded, resilient, and happy individual. In the book's conclusion, we will focus on the importance of continuous support and encouragement, reinforcing the principles outlined throughout the chapters to ensure your child's ongoing growth and success. Embracing the journey, raising champions for a brighter future. As we come to the end of Raising Champions, Parenting Strategies for Success, it's important to reflect on the incredible journey you've embarked upon as a parent. Parenting is an ongoing adventure filled with challenges, triumphs, and countless moments of joy and learning. Throughout this book, we've explored various strategies to help you raise confident, resilient, and successful children. You've learned how to set a strong foundation for success, communicate effectively, nurture emotional intelligence, foster independence and responsibility, build resilience, and balance academic achievements with personal growth. Each chapter has provided tools and insights to guide you in supporting your child's development and well-being. Remember, the journey of parenting doesn't end here. It's a continuous process of growth, adaptation, and unwavering support. Celebrate the progress you've made so far and take pride in the positive impact you're having on your child's life. Each small step forward is a testament to your dedication and love. As you move forward, continue to apply these strategies, knowing that your efforts are paving the way for your child's lasting success. Embrace the ups and downs, knowing that every challenge is an opportunity for growth and every triumph is a cause for celebration. At Better Life Library, we believe in the power of knowledge and support to transform lives. We hope this book has inspired and empowered you to be the best parent you can be. Your role in your child's life is invaluable, and your commitment to their growth and happiness will make all the difference. As you continue this journey, remember that you are not alone. Seek out resources, connect with other parents, and stay engaged with communities like Better Life Library that are dedicated to helping families thrive. Together, we can create a brighter future for our children. Here's to a future filled with hope, success, and endless possibilities. Keep believing in yourself and in your child's potential. Your love, support, and guidance are the keys to raising champions who will make a positive impact on the world. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Keep striving, keep loving, and keep raising champions.